all. Here we are. Don't try to keep up. Austin, Texas. Welcome. Don't try to keep up. Episode two. Episode two. We're, We're in here. Austin. As you said, Texas. If I may say, getting to Austin, for me, personally, was, was very easy. A little simple flight, direct flight. How long was that flight? Um, say about two hours. Two hours. Very short. Um, wow. Direct. Very easy. I uh, got here, you know, reasonable time as well. 8 p.m. Mm. Evening time. Very easy. Um, how about you? How was your, how was your flight? The flight itself, great. You know? Mm-hmm. Yes. But right when I got on there, you know, I was a little hot, kind of sweating. Bullets. <laughs> bullets. Absolute bullets. And let me tell you why. Please, 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 please do. Let me elaborate for all of you at home. Um, sweating bullets. What dedication, true dedication to the craft is like. All right? You see the quality is crazy right now. Crisp. Crisp. That's the, that's, that's the word. Crisp. Wunder. Why? Why is the quality crazy? Because we got better equipment. You know, we wanted to do a better job for all of you at home. That's an understatement. Better equipment? Understatement. Please. The best equipment. <laughs> Elaborate, please. Listen, <laughs> we got, you know, the Sony A6400. Okay. Ooh, visuals. The visuals. We got them. Full blown podcast mics. Yes, we're holding them because this is our preferred style, it's what it is. Um, lots please, of other. Please, please don't try to keep up. But, but you, you don't have you don't have to. It's not required. All right. I personally don't encourage any of you to try to keep up. You know, do the best that you can do. That's what I encourage. Absolutely. But yes, please don't try to keep up. Aside from that, you know, got the you know high quality camera, got the the lighting fixtures. You know, did a bunch of research on. How to have the best quality podcast possible so we could present ourselves to you in the best way possible. Absolutely. You know, voice crisp, deep, thick, delicious. Um, And he's talking about both of our voices. Exactly. It's not just him. Yeah, it's, you know, we're just sexy voice as well. Absolutely. Um, Look at him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) The light shining on him. Glistening. Glistening. Yeah. Glistening. Glistening. So the journey to get all this equipment. (laughs) Uh, let me tell you about it. So, you know, we're looking ahead of time, you know, trying to do things in advance. Don't want to procrastinate. Absolutely not. You know, I'm, I'm a bit of a procrastinator, but I was motivated highly to do everything efficiently. It just so happens that my man's hit me up and said, I want to do something this week. And it was already Tuesday. And and our... Uh Weekends tend to start on Thursday. Yeah. Not Friday. So I did what I could, right? Correct. We looked at everything. We were already looking at different things. I told you the cameras. We're reading uh, articles. We're doing research, watching videos on, you know, what's the best for our purposes, et cetera, right? I think we landed on some great options, all right? Best Buy, great place. Lots of electronics. Love to see it. There's like three best buys near me. All right? (laughs) Multiple. And I went to all of them. (laughs) So I want to say... uh, But when when did you go to all three of these? Was it it on Tuesday when we had to fly on Thursday? Or did you go on Wednesday? What did you... Right. When did you go? You know, so, you know, long story short, I did go the day before. So, you know, left Thursday. Wednesday, go to Best Buy. Great easy bought a couple things realized we needed a few more and then after that realized we needed a few more and one more time after that there was just a couple more items that we needed so absolutely um wednesday got the stuff that ordered initially ordered some stuff wednesday night and Mm -hmm. thursday morning right Mm -hmm. thursday morning i know i know what's gonna happen right i'm gonna wake up i'm gonna get my hair cut early 8 40 a.m right damn i'm gonna go to the office have a couple meetings it was like three back-to-backs have lunch leave go feed my cat go straight to guitar center in san mateo go back up to san francisco to the best buy 
go back home to stuff everything I get in my bag. Singular. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then go to the airport. I had the plan locked in, actually, Wednesday night. 100%. Yeah. I was, no question. Wednesday night, I knew exactly what was going to happen, like the timings of everything, and I gave myself an extra hour to do everything. Extra hour. One whole extra hour. So you were ready. I you was were. super ready. Honestly, you didn't even tell me about this plan. I had no idea that you had all this lined up. Right. You, you all in Chicago, so. I had no idea, but no. There's no need. Planned it all, planned the day ahead of time, packed the bag with the clothes ahead of time, but obviously there's certain things I can't pack if I don't have it. So mm. I have to go get it. And that's what I did. So Thursday comes, boom. The plan immediately goes to shit. My barber, <laughs> ah, I'm in traffic, uh, boom. That's extra hours basically already gone. The, uh, um, and, and, and not really, but, you know, I had extra hour on the front end and on the back end of the, the window, basically. Mm. The window being, um, you know, before the haircut and after the office, right? Makes sense. So... <clears throat> Barber, he's late. Cutting it close to me getting to the office at 11 in time for my meeting is what it is. Got the haircut, 940. Boom. Brought the laptop to the barbershop appointment. Hurry back home actually really quickly because at the barbershop, suddenly hit me. I got to take a shit. And I'm not <laughs> doing it at the barbershop. So barbershop, back home. Release the dragons, hit the office, boom, straight in a meeting. Didn't go to the desk. Laptop in hand, sit down. Hello, I'm here. Meeting after that, meeting after that, boom, lunch. Get the lunch, you know, kept it quick. Got yeah, a yeah. salad, <laughs> slargled it, <laughs> destroyed it. Immediately left, laptop in hand, back in car, boom. Where am I going? You're going to Best Buy. Exactly. But guess what? Another shit. Right after lunch. Hit me. Crazy. <laughs> number three. This is number three. All right? I'm, I, I didn't want to do this. wasn't part of the plan. I only have so much time to get there. Boom. Of course. All right. Fine. Go home. Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Is this the this the second shit of the day or the third shit of the day? This is the second shit of the day. Gotcha. All right. You usually like what you take a, what two shits a day, three shits a day, typically it, one one it, shit a day. It depends. Maybe this one you got two in the like morning. One. You know, I used to be super infrequent when I was younger, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> super. You got two in like the early hours of the day. Right. So got in two. Um, immediately go to San Mateo Guitar Center. Guitar Center. Didn't even have my order ready, so I. I order mm -hmm. the uh, this joint, the Focus Right. Boom! Head over to Guitar Center. Didn't say the order was ready, but I'm getting the Focus Right. No question. Absolutely, I'm getting it. I know Eat it's it. there. I know it's there. But oh, you know, I get there. I'm like oh, hey, you know, show my confirmation email. Oh yeah, I ordered this. You know, picking it up, and I know immediately he thought it was the order ready email. It wasn't confirmation email goes in the back comes back oh i didn't see it first of all you know what that means but it is what it is you know oh, i didn't see it you know something you know let me see the email again like ah oh, that's a confirmation email and i was just like ah oh, had no idea i didn't know <laughs> yes i did i knew exactly <laughs> what was going on no 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 question about it so uh he's like you know what it's fine. Uh, I'm just going to grab it for you. It's like locked up somewhere. Boom. I was like, well, I'll, I'll grab it if it's on the shelf. And just bring it here. You know, don't have to bring me up because I already paid for it. But he's like, no, nah, it's locked up somewhere. Cool. Locked up somewhere. Go get it. Give it to me and I'm out. All right. Gives it to me. I checked the ETA. I, I put in Google Maps all the stops that I need. And it was going to take a full hour basically before I got the Guitar Center. Right, right. And that hour was going to end 20 minutes before boarding started right so now i'm at guitar center got the thing boom gonna take me 34 minutes to get to san francisco 30 34 minutes to get to san francisco um 
that and pl- 18 minutes to get back home after that so I can pack everything wasn't going to be enough time. Boom. So let me fast forward the story. Go to San Francisco. Mind you, traffic on the way. Five minutes of traffic wasn't too bad, but get on the freeway immediately at a standstill. Got to, like, merge on, mm. get in, in between this truck and this car to be in both annoying. Is what it is. Get to Best Buy finally. I'm in and out faster than any man has ever seen. It was incredible. <laughs> Fast as I ever moved in my so life. You still good on time? Good on time is an understatement, right? So <clears throat> I get in there, though, and there's two people in front of me, and they're all moving slow. Damn. And somebody got the wrong thing. And I'm like, Damn. yo, <laughs> stop. Not today. <laughs> Luckily, there was two people working there. One, boom. boom. He came out, gave me one thing. I was like, sir, I have three more items, and I need you to bring them all out now. <laughs> That's how you said it? Yeah. Called him a bitch, too. Damn. Um, <laughs> once I left. Well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he brings out all the stuff. Go to the car as soon as possible. Boom. Rush home. Double stack my cat's food. Mind you, by the time I get home, there was... Um, how many minutes left until boarding? It was like six minutes left until boarding. Damn. So, boom. I'm going to go pack. Let me pack everything right now. Wrong. Another shit. This is shit number three. Hit me. Crazy. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Immediately. As soon as I step in the... <laughs> you have to go instantly. It's not an option. You You, you, you wait can it? either shit on yourself... In the Uber, yeah. or you can go take a shit right now. And I'm at home. Of course, I'm going to go take the shit. Absolutely. And I'm just sitting there pissed. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking so long? Get, get, bro. It was ridiculous. So, anyway. So, basically, you shitting while the people, you know, the other people's boarding. Right. So, I'm taking a shit. Get the text message. Your plane is ready to board. <laughs> of course, the only time that I need them to be a little late is the first time. They're a minute early. Wow. Can't believe it. Once you get that message, they're boarding. It's not Absolutely. a question. I was boarding group two, by the way. I could have got on easy bag situation. Luckily, it was like 20 extra seats available. So it wasn't going to be a crazy bag situation. Boom. Boom. I've never moved faster in my life. All right. You thought I moved fast in Best Buy? Wrong. I moved <laughs> even faster outside of the joint. So. Go pack the stuff, right? I'm gonna. I got all these boxes. I need to pack everything. Right. Boom. One thing's too long. Have to get it out. Rip it out of the box. Just put stuff in the duffel bag. Boom. Luckily, I have a backpack on as well. Um, so like all the small things on the back, just the laptops. Uh, but I have my backpack in a duffel bag. That's important. It matters. It's not a roller bag. I'm not checking a bag, obviously. No, not no chance. And I'll tell you why later. I'm never <laughs> checking a bag again. Honestly, nobody should. Nobody should ever check in a no bag. Nobody should ever check a bag. You know what? We'll touch on that. We'll, we'll touch on that. Deeply. Very deeply. <laughs> 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 That's a whole different. We'll touch on that. Now, Crazy but, deep. For now, remember, do not ever check in a bag. Don't ever check in a bag. Um, but yeah, you know, pack everything that I can. You know, obviously forgot a couple things. It's fine. It's okay. Um, because we, you know. We brought what we brought, but pack everything, call the Uber. Boom. Perfect. Uber, five minutes away. Wonderful. Can't wait to get there. I'll get there uh, six, six, six minutes after boarding. No, 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 no. The Uber will get to me six minutes after boarding, mm. and then I'll get there ten minutes before boarding starts. This is perfect. Uber cancels. <laughs> Damn. Another Uber connects eight minutes now. All right. So I just lost three minutes. Great. Fantastic. Lucky for me. All right. Uber doesn't cancel. He gets there. I rush downstairs. Make sure my cat has all the food, water he needs, everything. Mm-hmm. Everything he needs to wait, you know, another 12 hours until baby girl gets home. Take care of the cat. Boom. So. Boom. Get in the Uber. Great. Step on it. He was a great guy. Fast. Didn't open the trunk. No. Don't open the trunk. I need the bags with me so I can run out of this Uber. <laughs> All right. Drop me off at door six. Perfect door. 
perfect door because it's right next to Clear. Of course I have Clear. And if you don't have Clear, we'll talk about that later too. You Thanks. need Clear. Shout out to Clear. Um, one of our main sponsors. Especially if you have Amex. If you travel more <sighs> than twice a year, even once, man. Clear is just so nice. If you only travel once, make it special. Get Clear. Especially if you have Amex, you get it for free. free. Why and not? three other family members or four others. Yeah. Something like that. For like, yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Have Clear. Have Clear. So, uh, you know, security, none of that matters. I'm getting in uh, past security Boom. in two minutes. And that's what happened. I got past security in two minutes. Uh, I had six minutes until boarding was going to end. And like always, guess which gate I had? The very last one. <laughs> Pissed. It happens to me so often. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> cursed. It's my curse to have the last gate at every airport. And guess what? Which gate I landed at in Austin, the very last one, which is fine. But, fine. again, I'm about to be late, and you put me at the very last gate, bitch. Pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed off. They know you were a track star back in the day, so. I was. They knew. I was. They I knew. know how to run. They knew. But I had a fucking 30,000-pound bag in my hands. I have every single piece of equipment from Guitar Center and Best Buy from the last 20 years in that bag. <laughs> Every single one. And I knew I had to book it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. Six minutes? Once the door closed, they're not open in the door. No, that's over. That's it. No. You could try, but it's not happening. So I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> as fast as possible. Which is pretty fast for somebody holding a thousand pound bag. This is the heaviest bag any man's ever carried in his life, let alone ran with. It's probably it's probably, probably one of the heaviest bags that they've let on for like a carry on. Yeah. No, if we weren't they, if States, they weighed that <laughs> <laughs> That's like seven bags. Facts. If they if they weighed that, you would have been like, nah, absolutely right. not. No shot. So ran to the gate. I'm sweating big time. Crazy. <laughs> I could take three steps in 75 degree weather and I'm going to sweat. You know, it just happens to me Thanks. like that. It is what it is. Sweating ass. <laughs> Pretty much. So, you know, boom. Sprint to the gate. Fast as possible. I had to stop like three times. It's the very last gate. Y'all nice. want me to run half a mile straight with an additional 70 pounds on me? Disrespectful. <laughs> Come Not on. happening. Not happening, bro. So, boom. Get to the gate. Had two minutes before boarding ended and the doors closed. Luckily, there was some sort of grace period. Somebody got on right before me. And there was three people who got on after me. Of course, <laughs> I get on the plane. And, you know, again, 20 seats left. Space right above my uh, seat yeah. for my bag. Boom. Obviously, all the things were closed. Opened it. I'm like, ah, oh, thank God. I don't have to look for one. Look down. Somebody in my seat. <laughs> God, damn. She gets up. She's like, oh, you're right here. Points to the middle seat. Absolutely not. I'm not there. I'm here. She's like, ah, <laughs> how embarrassing. I'm in the wrong move. Was she in the was she in the middle? No, no. She was in the seat in front of me, allegedly. Uh, um, there was another guy there. I imagine they exchanged before. Right, right. Thinking saying, you weren't going to make it type right. of vibes, whoever this guy is. Yeah. And she was like, oh, wow, you really, uh, you know, uh, got in here the very last second. Yes. Yeah. Move. <laughs> and that's my seat. <laughs> and that's my seat. <laughs> got the owl seat. Nobody in the middle. Perfect. Nice. So, damn, um, damn, I made it immediately. Hey, your experience, fam, complete opposite of mine. <laughs> yeah. So that was it. Story time complete. I came with a half empty bag, <laughs> you know, a bag. <laughs> that was <laughs> It wasn't really my, uh, my fault though. He did tell me, you know, before I flew, he's like, Hey, get that extension cord, you know, surge protector vibes. I brought that. In comparison to what he brought, it was absolutely nothing. Um, but, but absolutely needed. If we didn't have it, none of this would be possible right now. Every slot is taken currently. Damn, those shits that oh shit, they had you. <laughs> you almost didn't make it because of the shits, bro. Almost didn't make it. But here we are. Here, Austin. Austin, Texas. We're here. Doing we it. Made it. You know. I went to a great spot last night. Oh. How'd you like it? Wonderful. Um, you know, it was uh, what here nor there. 
here nor there. Little little bar, speakeasy vibe. Downtown um, Austin. Needed a like a little special code to get in through the gates. Got to have a reservation um, to get over there. Atmosphere amazing. Got like stars for the in the ceiling. Got you know low lights. The mood is wonderful. Drinks. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Every drink that we had was was wonderful. Um, the menu, you know, small, concise, but each drink, the flavors, hey, I would go back. I say anybody who comes to Austin, here nor there, got to go. It's got to gotta go. Absolutely. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. It was a great vibe. The service was crazy. Loved the service, you know, came up to us. Want to know our names, you know. Seems like they really want to get to know you there. Yes. Um, see who's in, enjoying the atmosphere, enjoying their vibes. Uh, had great recommendations for the drinks without even asking. Um, and then additional recommendations later after we tried everything on the menu. <laughs> Basically. No, it, every drink. It was, it was a rare spot spot where um, each drink was, was great. Usually you go to a spot, you might find a drink or two that are good. Find a drink or two that wasn't really your taste, but not this spot. Every single drink was was amazing. So not here, no there. Got to hear it there. No, ten out of ten would recommend. Um, where are we going tonight? Tonight, well, um, got a little recommendation from a friend who's been here. Um, try a little Mexican restaurant. Um, I believe it's called Commodore. Yeah, something like that. Um, no, we're gonna check it out. Dinner vibes. Now Austin is known for what the music scene, live food, music, food scene, nightlife. Um, so we'll check it out. A little Friday night vibes. Yeah. Out in the city. We're at the uh, Omnia. Yeah, is that Omnia. What it's called? Yes. Oh, or is right it just here, Omnia? You know. Another sponsor, Omni Hotel Resorts. You know, thank Omni. you. Omni. There we go. Omnia. What? That's Vegas. Omni Hotel again, downtown Austin. Beautiful spot. Beautiful. Um, kind of like a business hotel vibe. Um, no, but service here, amazing. Rooms, amazing. Dining, amazing. Facilities, amazing. The whole, the whole thing, amazing. Definitely stay back. Come back here, stay here. Um, no. It's great. Yeah, we had that, uh, you know, downstairs at the bar. The live music guys playing oh, guitar, amazing. singing nonstop, top tier. Had people sitting down there just watching them, clapping. Sir. When I say clapping, I mean with their hands. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to clarify. <laughs> wow. Oh, <it's laughs> clapping. Um, yeah. No, but uh, you want to you wanna let them know about our uh, special sponsors today? Absolutely. How could I forget? Uh, today, podcast. Uh, episode number two. Episode number two. Don't Brought to you by Ciroc. <sighs> Specifically Apple. Delicious apple Ciroc, absolutely incredible. Get out there, get some Ciroc apple. Um, I drink it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, and I also take sips uh, for my snacks. Um, so I mean, you even you even told me that dessert as well. By the way, when you get a like a cold or a flu, you don't take Nyquil, Dayquil. You take little sips of Ciroc apple. Yeah, a little sip, maybe like a bottle or two, and <laughs> then we're good. Now Ciroc. Got to get it. Thank another, you, Ciroc. Appreciate it. You know, another sponsor. Uh, we are right here. Burberry, you know. One of the best luxury brands there is. Absolutely. Um, Burberry clothes, Burberry accessories, everything. Wonderful. So thank you, Burberry. Um, what do you have? What you have there? We do have another sponsor as well. Oh, third uh, sponsor. As you can see here as well, you know, just – Drift wow. out in it, off white. Love it. Off white, top tier, and <sighs> actually, um, and I'll show you the back of the shirt later. You'll see it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Virgil Abloh himself, from heaven, may he rest in peace. R.I.P. Sent down his blessings for this episode. Thank you, Virgil. Thank, Thank you, you, Virgil. Absolutely incredible. Um, two other sponsors, as well. Um, you know. Two uh, up and coming Virgil Abloh's um, Goji, 
You know? Absolutely, yes. And um, RX Human Resource. Yeah. Go to goji.com. Boom. G-O-J-I.com. Boom. RxHumanResource.com. Absolutely. If you want to get the next Off-White, catch it early. Uh, can't give away my secrets about how I find out about such incredible brands. Yes. But no, if you want uh, dope fashion, high quality materials, Goji, Human Resource, wonderful up and coming brands. Um, they got gr- they got great clothing. Absolutely. I personally own some, love it, wear it <laughs> on daily. Yeah, if you recall the first podcast, mm-hmm. I believe I was uh, wearing the RX Human Resource uh, shirt. The yes. white shirt with the uh, barcode on the back. So hard. Crazy. Super. And I'm actually wearing the uh, the shorts right now. Um, you can Love tell it. by the uh, the signature, um, what are these, aglets, I believe they're called. Uh, beautiful. Extremely excellent quality. Not high quality. That's what it's about. Yeah. Um, and I'll let you, you figure out um, the RX Human Resource uh, brand itself but yeah, that's all about health and wellness yes take care of yourself prioritize your own peace and happiness absolutely amazing no, absolutely it's it's one of the best brands out there um if not the best facts um <sighs> shit amazing so we did touch on a a couple things during the uh the story time mm-hmm. earlier all right, you know, one thing, like having clear, for example, you know, yeah, might want to might want to talk to him about that. No, you got to have clear. Um, that's you know, I think the uh, annual subscription or plan to have clear is I want to say it's one sixty nine, hundred sixty nine bucks. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if you want to add somebody, a family member or something, I think it's sixty dollars up to like four additional family members. But no, um, a lot of people know about the the whole TSA pre check vibes. Um, I think it's like 85. You get five years worth of TSA pre-check. But uh, Clear, I'd say it's one of like the, it's not brand new, but it's newer than uh, TSA pre-check. Clear is basically TSA pre-check on steroids. I guess that's the best way to put it. Absolutely. Um, Where, you know, they take your fingerprints, your scan your eyes, whatever the case may be, uh, to sign you up. And then every time you do come to the airport and do have Clear, uh, basically, hey, look into the lens, they scan your eyes, then you get, then somebody escorts you basically to the front of the TSA pre-check line. So I know sometimes the TSA pre-check line be short, sometimes it'll be long, just depends on the day, the airport. Um, but if you get the opportunity to skip that line, I mean, I feel like the 169, even if you have to pay out of pocket, is, is totally worth it. Absolutely. If you travel, um, even if you travel here and there, that's perfectly fine. But then if you have the... Uh, Amex Platinum. There's basically no reason why you shouldn't have clear. Um, the Platinum basically takes care of the whole. I think it takes care of the whole thing, right? The 169. It does. Boom. And does it take care of the? If you add somebody. I'm not sure that it actually does. I think it's just an addition. Additional what, like 60? 60? 60. Like yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, if your credit card's paying 169 dollars for you to have basically a free clear membership. If you don't have one you and you have the Amex, you're doing something wrong. Right. And <laughs> if you don't want to pay for their memberships, refer them oh. to Amex Platinum. They yeah, approved. Absolutely. Easy. They can get their own free clear as well. Gotcha. If they travel just as much as we do, you'll want it. Absolutely. Trustfully. Absolutely. I mean, hey, anything, Super worth it. anything to, to bypass these security lines at the airport, sign up. I see so many people don't even have TSA pre-check, and they'll be just standing in the regular lines. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Insane. Crazy. Plus, the regular lines, right? Taking off your shoes, th- taking off the laptops, everything. Yeah. Clear. Nope. Don't have to do that unless you're, you know, randomly selected. Even then, you still don't have to take off your shoes. Boom. You don't have to take out your laptops. Uh, you just, you know, put your phone, wallet, keys, whatever's in your pockets on the conveyor belt and your backpack, whatever. And you're good to go. You just walk through one of the scanners. Done. I feel like it just makes for a more, what do you call it, like calm experience. I feel like when people are going through security lines, 
especially when it comes time to put it in the little conveyor belt, take off your shoes. I feel like it's people are panicking at most times at the airport. Right. They got the TSA pre-check to clear. I feel like everyone's just calm. You don't got to take off anything. You got to take out things out of your bag. Just calmly put it. Boom. Get through. Go to your gate. Chill. Easy. It's a vibe. A wonderful experience, truly. Um, you know, sometimes I get to the airport, uh, you know, 10 minutes before boarding just because I know it'll be a seamless experience. <laughs> really depends on the flight. You know, if I miss it, I'll catch the next one. But I don't <laughs> miss it. I haven't missed a flight in years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey. But don't try, don't try to keep it. up though. Please don't 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 do the whole ten minute vibes um unless you're really about it. Uh please don't try to keep up. I'm like the I'm more of the, you know, let's go two hours ahead. I'll sit at the airport, you know, lounge vibes. Um if you can get into the lounges. Um, I don't yeah, that's tough. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> that's tough. So. Hey, you know, lounge vibes, you know, might wanna Credit card vibes, you know, a lot of these credit cards lend you into, you know, at least a lounge at most of these airports. Um, you know, clean, cleaner bathrooms, a little bit of food, a little bit of drinks. The cleaner bathroom thing, though, it's a, it's a game changer at the airport. Yeah, absolutely. Because these fucking regular ass bathrooms at the airport, fam, <laughs> people are unloading. Constantly, too. Constantly. Unloading. They were just on the plane for who knows how long. In these stalls. They don't want to go there, but they'll do it at the airport. So they get back, destroying these bathrooms. And it's just constant farts and shards. Bro, and they don't give a fuck who's next to them. They don't. Because they're like, you know what? There's thousands of people at this airport. I've had so many people look me in the eye while they were walking <laughs> into the stall. Like, sir, look <laughs> away. Look down. Don't look at me. Just blasting this shit. <laughs> Give me this. <laughs> <laughs> They're just straight blasting shit. And I'm just like, you know how many asses sit on those toilets, bro? Right. And then I'm just like. Disgusting. Disgusting. Hence why lounge. I know. Question. Yes. All right. This, this, is a, <laughs> this is a good question here. All right. And I need everybody to confirm, you know, their status on this. Yes. Do you bear butt toilets? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. <laughs> Absolutely if you not. You bear butt the toilet. No. You're a barbarian. Send him to jail. I'll say it. Bro, again. that just gave me chills, fam. Just thinking of that. It's You're like a victim. They got those uh what those seat covers for a reason. For a reason. If you if you're lazy and you don't oh like uh let me just take a, a you know toilet paper and just clean the seat real quick and then sit down. No. Absolutely not. That is disgusting. Absolutely not. I'm, 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 this is what I'm doing. If I have to go to one of the, the public joints, I am one. I'm cleaning it first with the, with the, you know, toilet paper. Boom. I am putting not one seat cover, fam. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know how many seat covers I'm taking? How many? It's like me taking napkins out of the fucking napkin machine, whatever thing at McDonald's. I'm taking half the joints. I'm taking at least 50. Let me give you a visual <laughs> representation of what I do to make sure the seat is completely covered before I squat above it. Squat. <laughs> this is what I do when I'm grabbing the toilet paper. You'll, you'll understand, unless you're a dumbass. <laughs> oh, you layering, layering. Boom. Uh-huh. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Got to. Absolutely got to. Layer. This <laughs> the seat. <laughs> a little bit more? Yep. You that can't, little you, bit more yep. at the end? So no. Saw, I, no, no, no. That side. little more at the end is key. It is key. It you is. Don't, you don't want to come back to you. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, pro tip, I might be putting so many people on game here because hey, this is – the next level strategy. Yes. I don't know if I've ever shared it before mm -hmm. publicly. A ah. couple people Tell know them. about it. Tell them. Two or three. Tell them. So first of all, you know, layering on, you know, sides, back, front, all of it. None of it's touching me. The germs, no chance. No shot. No way. Secondly, the water itself <laughs> infested. 
what do you think the particles don't stay around they linger in the air and you can snort them but they're not still in the bowl you're insane if you think that toilet bowl water is touching these cheeks <laughs> you got me fucked up <laughs> not a goddamn <laughs> chance all right so that little bit at the end you get some uh, you know wrap it up a little bit and you don't have to wrap too much mm -hmm. but you know you layer it over the water you know it's like you know two or three squares depending on the type of toilet it is the water level all that you know two or three squares left middle right and then you're good and you can put more than that too but one reduces splashage i don't remember the last time toilet water splashed on me it's been years because it doesn't i don't let it can't Ew. You, you cannot you <laughs> you're cannot. a victim you cannot so reduces splashage not only does it reduce splashage but it also catches the facilities i'll say <laughs> <laughs> it catches the facilities so that it reduces streakage as well yes um, yeah yeah now yeah. we're getting it you, oh you leave streaks also if you the type of motherfucker to leave streaks <laughs> in the toilet it's like, someone else's house and they have a oh, brush right oh, no, there no, no, that's messed up you're crazy that's crazy that's crazy you're insane you better brush it you better brush it you got you to think the brush is there for yeah. them you, you're disgusting <laughs> <laughs> never come back <laughs> everybody do what i do whatever you're doing if it's not what i'm doing do it because it's the only way truly honestly like if you got a choice don't take a shit at the airport all right never you know lounge eh, seems cleaner whatever it's not it's really not if you got to do it hit up a lounge if you can hold it in hold it in that reminds me too in europe there's a lot of places because they feel the same way i do especially i would say like convention centers that i've been to in in germany mm -hmm. um i want to say this was in belgium as well uh but ah, maybe not so many places though yeah you go into the bathrooms they have a toilet brush mm -hmm. and a plunger matter of fact in dubai they had a water jet which is oh, yeah, even yeah, yeah. better yeah so you can spray the streaks yeah it was Not, incredible and and to spray your ass well they had the bidet right next to it though so oh, they, they had, multiple had the joints? bidet they had the toilet, so I'm like, clearly the bidet is for cleaning your butt. This the jet was powerful, so I knew <laughs> that wasn't for that. That, no, that, that, that wasn't no, for the no, ass. No, 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 <laughs> absolutely not. There was no way. Um, um, yeah. Um, what time is it? Yeah, it's like nine twenty. Oh, okay, oh, we got ten minutes. <laughs> it's like an eight minute walk. I think. Oh, it is. Yeah. Bet. Um, no, but listen, airport. You go to the airport to fly. <laughs> That's the only thing you should do. Go through security, go to the gate, hop on, get to where you got to get to. Do not hit up the facilities. The facilities. <laughs> they're there, but they're not there for you. I promise you. <laughs> no. Disgusting. Thousands of ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of ass. Damn. Touching the joints, bro. I'm choking just thinking about the joints. Anyway, he's absolutely right. Oh, nothing, nothing. Yeah. If you are going to hit up one of the public bathrooms, if you, if you really want to risk it, if you really want to do this, do this at your own risk. But the cleanest one is the handicap one. Listen, I only use the handicap. I need Listen, space. I don't want to touch no. the walls on it, accident. And and I always peep the handicap vibes first. Yeah. I, I'll check it. I know it's the cleanest. It's the it's the least used, more space. <laughs> but I did get you know in this little situation one time um, that changed my perspective of using the handicap one. You want to tell another? You tell when we get back. Uh, when we get back. Yeah. Um, just just letting you know if you do want to use one handicap one. Just do it quick. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. don't be chilling in there. Absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, we'll be back though. Yeah, we'll boom. be back. We're boom. gonna go go eat. You know, go to the dinner, Resi, and then we'll you know boom, boom. finish the pot up. Sir, we might be blasted when we get back. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll, hey, we will be blasted. Be more lit. We'll see. <laughs>